Okay, I'm gonna plop a herbalist right next to the gatherer's hut over here. Uh, that will help our uh, health situation because you see, our, our health is not too good. Average health of citizens is not great. Uh, so this should help us. Uh, but we are going to be getting low on uh, low on helpers here. Okay, I'm about to wrap up this recording session, but I wanted to show you one of the towns I've made that are is much more um, uh, developed. Uh, just to sort of give you an idea of what you might be uh, aiming for at some point. Yeah, I just saved. Yes. Well, let's make sure. Okay, here is a uh, uh, Papiker, Papiker, sort of like Chupiker, but it's Papiker. Um, it's got, uh, how many citizens? Uh, 179 citizens. Um, these are all wheat fields, uh, and, um, and all these wheat fields. Uh, that's in order to brew ale for a trade field. This is a um, tavern they brew ale. Uh, here's a trade port. So uh, I used to use uh, firewood as a trade good. The problem is I was always, always running out of firewood for people. Uh, so I started using ale as a trade good. Uh, problem is you need a lot of this is all this is all wheat here. Um, you need a lot of uh, wheat or apples or something to make enough um, uh, ale because uh, it seems to take a whole you know ten acres of of, uh, of wheat to make one barrel of ale. Um, here's uh, my sheep pen. Uh, sh uh, they got some mutton, but mutton laid down the floor here. Uh, sheep are important not so much for the mutton, although that's, that's good, uh, but for the wool uh, because that allows you to have um, uh, the, the best clothes in, in the game, uh, the uh, warm clothes, uh, which allows your people to work out the cold better. Uh, also got some chickens, chickens here. Um, they're good because they give eggs and of course chicken meat. And uh, here is the market. Oh, uh, all that, all that stone. Uh, I don't have a stone quarry. Uh, I just went out uh, to the far ends of the earth and gathered up that stone. Uh, here's the, um, the market. There's all the stuff that it has. Not that much compared to what it's had in the past. Uh, also, I'm making steel tools, so for steel you need coal, uh, so I have a coal mine for that. Uh, I got an apple orchard there, uh, which is not, doesn't do that good. I got a chestnut orchard here, that's doing better. Uh, and apple orchards just got coming in there, and some more vegetable fields. I got uh, corn, uh, pumpkins, um, cabbage, uh, and peppers. Uh, and in order to get those seeds, you have to use your, your trade uh, uh, trading post to, um, to buy them, and they're expensive. So you need a lot of trade goods, trade goods to, uh, to get new seeds. So once you get that, you can could, you could plant those seeds with all you want. So basically, you're basically buying one seed for $2,000, $2,500, but then you can plant it for as much as you want. Yeah, second training post there. Sometimes uh, having uh, two training posts will help increase the frequency of visits by uh, uh, by traders because they seem to only come around once every blue moon. Uh, managed forest. I got a managed forest here. That's a forester hut. I've got it set only to plant, not to cut, because uh, the, they they cut. They don't seem to cut in any kind of. Uh, prompt way to cover your needs. Um, they just cut them with the trees when they're real old. Uh, so I've, I don't even bother having them cut. I just have them plant. Uh, and uh, gather a set. Uh, I'm in cabin. 
Uh, you probably only need one herbalist. Here's my, uh, uh, my first uh, uh, managed forest. So I got a herbalist here, and maxed out. Uh, again, a uh, uh, forester lodge, gatherer's hut, and hunting cabin. I have two, two cemeteries in town. This is the uh, old cemetery. It's all filled up. And the new cemetery over here. Uh, and it's getting filled up. About halfway filled up. Uh, and here's another managed forest here. So the same set set up uh, a uh, uh, forester lodge, gatherer's hut, and hunter, hunting cabin. And one more managed forest right here. Uh, this is a town hall that gives you, mainly gives you access to um, information, uh, graphs on what your population is, food supply, uh, clothing, which is important. Uh, also, you, if you want to have a uh, town hall, every once in a while, nomads will come by and want to join your town. Uh, it's a two-edged sword. You know, add some edges, some uh, laborers, right quick. But they can also carry diseases. Uh, these are these are uh, seeds and things that have uh, You Got uh, max health, max happiness. Uh, Ninety-one percent educated. That dropped because I uh, because I adopted a, a, a nomad band, uh, and that they were uneducated, of course. Uh, Ninety-nine percent clothes. Makes you wonder about the other one percent. Um, Going naked. Uh, let's see. Hundred eighty four citizens. Once you get to this point, it's not that much of a, uh, a scary thing as to whether you're going to survive or not. Uh, although sometimes you can have close calls too. Like uh, I was up to like twelve thousand food. I dropped down to like 6,000 food fairly rapidly, so I had to, to scurry up and uh, get the food production, get production going. Uh, so you can still run into problems. Uh, that was the old coal mine. The problem is it was so far away that nobody would pick up the coal. Uh, so I, I put it closer in. Something right there. They seem to pick, that up, pick up the coal from that pretty well. And the benefit of steel tools is they don't uh, wear out as, as often, which means that your people don't spend as much time replacing tools. And they can work more. Work. Work, you bastards.